Hello everyone, welcome you back to my channel. Today we will be learning about mesh analysis solved problems. So in the last class we have learned about what is mesh analysis, different problems on it. I am putting that in the i button over here. You can go to that particular video wherein I have explained in detail about mesh analysis and few solved problems. Today we will be solving another solved problem of mesh analysis. So before going through it, just let us do a recap about basics of networks, which will be helping us to solve problems in mesh analysis as well. So as I told you in the last class, when I'm moving from the positive to the negative terminal of a voltage, it is minus of V. When I'm moving from the negative towards the positive, it is plus of V. When I'm moving in the same direction of the current in the resistor, it is minus of I into R. And when I'm moving in the opposite direction of the current, it is plus of I into R. This is the basic concepts of networks. Last class, we learned about type 1 kind of problem and type 2 kind of problem. In the type 1 kind of problem, we didn't have any current source in the network. And the type 2 kind of problem, we had a current source which was not common to both the meshes. So these were the two kind of problems that we learned in the last class. Today, we'll be learning a third kind of problem in mesh analysis, which is type 3 kind of problem, in which we'll have a common current source between two meshes. So this is one of the very popular kind of question that comes in network solving. And uh, this can be solved via mesh analysis as well as via various other techniques. But today we'll be trying to solve this technique via uh, this problem via mesh analysis technique. So if you see, we have a common current source over here, which is common to both the meshes, mesh 1 and mesh 2. And the question says, try to find out the value of I1. So how do we solve this question? So first equation will be basically, if you see, the current I1 is going this way and the current I2 is going this way, right? Current I1 is coming this way and current I2 is coming this way. So what happens is that if I'm doing I2 minus I1. Okay, so what can I do with that? Since my I2 is in the opposite direction and I1 is in this direction, I can say I have I1 in the direction of the current. The I1 is moving in the same direction of 1 ampere current source. Then I have I2 which is going upward minus I2 is equal to 1 ampere. This equation I will make you understand again. If you see the mesh 1 has the current in this direction. The mesh 2 has the current in this direction. So I1 is going downward. I2 is going upward. Right. So what is happening is that since my I1 is in the same direction of the current source downward. I will write I1 first. And since I1 and I2 are both in opposite direction, I will write minus. I2 is equal to 1 ampere. I hope this particular current equation is very clear. The mesh 1 and mesh 2. Mesh 1 as I1, mesh 2 as I2. So the I1 is in the same direction of 1 ampere. Therefore, your I1. Minus I2 is in the opposite in opposite direction of your 1 ampere. I2 is equal to 1. Hence I1 minus I2 is equal to 1 ampere. The next equation we will get is basically by applying KVL in the entire loop. So apply KVL in mesh. 1 comma 2. So if you see, I am moving from the negative towards the positive terminal. So when I am moving from the negative towards the positive, it is plus of V, right? So I have plus 3 volts. Then I am moving in the same direction as that of your current source through 2 ohms, right? I am moving in this direction. The current source is also in this direction. Therefore, you have minus of 2 into I1. 
then again i am moving in the same direction the current source if you see is this way and i am also moving this way therefore you have minus of 2 into i2 again i am moving in this direction the current is also moving in this direction therefore you have minus of 1 into i2 is equal to 0 therefore plus 3 Minus of two i one minus of three i two is equal to zero. Two i one plus three i two is equal to three. So I'll explain the equation one and equation two again. The equation one has i one minus i two is equal to one. How is it so? The i one is in the mesh one. I two is in the mesh two. But I one is in the same direction of the current source one ampere. Therefore, I one minus I two is in the opposite direction of I one, right? The I one is moving this way, I two is moving this way. Therefore, minus I two is equal to one ampere. And apply K V L in mesh one and two. Therefore, you will get this particular equation, right? How do we get this equation? I am moving from the negative towards the positive plus three. I am moving in the same direction as that of your current source. Therefore, minus of two into I one. I am moving in the same direction as that of your current source, right? I am moving in this direction. Current is also moving in this direction. Therefore, minus of two into I two. Similarly, I am moving in this direction. Current also moving in this direction. Therefore, minus of I two is equal to zero. Therefore, you have one equation. Equation number one. Equation number two. Solve these both equations. You will get I one as six by five amperes. So this is the way in which you solve a particular question, wherein if you have a current source common to both the meshes I one and I two. I hope I am very clear with this. So I have taught other problems also on in this channel. The video is there in the network playlist. You can go through it. So if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and Telegram also, wherein I regularly post all the video content. Thank you so much, guys.